I was 36, fit and healthy, three children under 10, beautiful wife and had headaches for two days. And before I knew it, I'd become a high grade brain cancer patient. And Kiralee and I were totally lost. We knew from the recovery bed that we needed to make some change for brain cancer. We realised how underfunded and under-researched brain cancer was. When Mark was first diagnosed, I remember his radiologist said, you're going to need 20 million at least before you'll make any inroads. It didn't dissuade us, we just thought, okay, let's just keep powering on. So the Mark Hughes Foundation began. Ten years or so later, we're proud of where we are. We've sold over a million beanies, have so many fundraisers across Australia. Just mind blowing. I wore beanies when I was getting my treatments and Kiralee and I felt beanies and brain cancer just had a really good ring to it. And we just thought, look, if we can get a few schools involved, uh, that would be amazing. It raised $30,000 and we were stoked. It was just a few local schools to wear their favourite beanie and bring a gold coin donation. And we saw the excitement of doing that, that we felt this was really gonna work. And it grew and we got momentum with it. And then from there, the NRL jumped on board, probably the game changer where it took us to a national level. We've invested 20 million in research. We have brain cancer care nurses that look after all of the patients. And the, the feedback we get from patients is that they couldn't have got through their journey without these angels. Another area that we've put some resources into is the MHF uh, Brain Cancer Biobank. Like a big library of tumours and our research teams right across Australia have access to them. The MHF Brain Cancer Centre at the University of Newcastle, that was established about two years ago, led by the Chair and Director Mike Bay. It, it has been absolutely a game changer, I feel, for brain cancer. There's an amazing team that they're, they're also collaborating with other researchers across the country. Research has grown. We've just kept pushing the boundaries and we're not gonna find better treatments for brain cancer unless collaboration occurs. We want things to happen and we want them to happen now. Whether that takes two years, 10 years, 20 years, we're gonna fight our way out of this mess. It's ruthless. It's a disgusting disease and we're going to keep working really hard till we solve this problem. It's not hard to bounce out of bed and fight when the stakes are so high. We're fighting for life here, for me and so many others. But I think with my partner by my side, with our amazing team, volunteers, community, some magic will happen.